You can read it for yourself. EPA admin. Michael Regan refuses to read Representative Nancy Mace's signs at oversight hearing. The recount. This first image includes a slogan that is widely recognized as a call to eradicate the state of ISR. AEL. Is this the official position of the Biden EPA? Yes or no? Is it the what? Official position of Biden's EPA. Yes or no? That is not our problem. Does this sign protect the environment? Yes or no? That is not our problem. This group, where this image came from, is designated to receive $50 million. Has that group received? So this sign says Freedom for Palestine. What does it say at the below are your comments? I don't get it. Why would the EPA administrator be called upon to read political posters presented by one of the mem? Burrs of Congress? Apparently she was griping that the U.S. government makes grants to groups of whose political position. S. She does not approve, whether or not any of them had any. Her theatrix might have worked, but rather than confront what the director of the EPA was saying, S. He refused to go on the record to counter his claims it sounds like she was political grandstanding H. Hoping that her dog whistles would be heard among the base, and he did not bite. These congressional hearings, or whatever they are called are pure and simple theater. They are an opportunity for politicians to exert their power and to have their comments be on the re. Cord. Generally, I think their questions are legitimate. However, when they ask, they rarely give time for a complete answer, without interrupting those to whom the questions were asked. Yet, if you try to answer or correct them, they will use their out-of-order pressure to subdue any a t t e m p t to rebut them. It's a disgraceful display of their attitudes as potentates, wielding their high and mighty hand to Subdue any challenge to their position. These are our public servants. Mace, Haley, Graham, Scott. This is what South Carolina has to offer. It's no wonder SC drags the bottom of most categories. Republicans can't keep blaming the other side for this. SC has been at the bottom for decades and no sign of letting up. The real problem is that anyone testifying in front of Congress is beholden by law to speak the trut. H. If they are caught lying, it's a federal offense with serious charges. However, the actual people in Congress are not beholden to tell the truth in these hearings. They're also not beholden to tell the truth on their official government webpage. Go read the House's official webpage. It's controlled by the majority each Congress. They have filled those pages with absolute lies for the past three years. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.